Hello beginners and espresso world couchers. This is the holiday edition, but still week number three of the beginners get in shape in four weeks. And here we go. Starting with a wide squat. This is one of two warm-up exercises. Bring your hips slightly backwards and in between your heels and then round your back, getting your belly and your back warmed up and nicely stretched. So you want to inhale when you stand up, exhale when you push your knees out. Inhale, standing up, push your knees out, weight on the outer edges of your foot. Exhale, crunch forward, inhale and come back up. Now be aware of your shoulders, have them relaxed as far away from your ears as possible and you want to create this upper body movement like a wave. No strain, no stress, no contracting, it's more the legs warming up and the upper body is just waving. Second warm-up exercise, maybe I already have succeeded in making your heart rate going up a bit, making your body feel warmer and maybe even drop your sweatshirt by the side of your mat or your floor. Here we go with um, some deep lunges, stepping backwards from your standing position with one leg, dropping your hips really low and then opening and rotating to the side of the bent knee. Then come back in the middle, step forward and repeat on the other side. And so you're always twisting towards the bent knee. Let's go again. Right leg stepping back and then the left arm reaches over to the sky, stepping back forward. Keep breathing, exhale. I like inhaling in that rotation, but you can do both. You can also exhale. Most important is that you keep breathing and that you make this really big step. This is for rotation in the spine. All right, here we go. First workout, and this is for the right leg especially. So the right leg is moving and the left leg is standing. Stand tall. Pick your left knee up and then step backwards into a lunge. Pick your right leg up and stand step backwards into a lunge. Stepping over your words. Perfect. So the left leg is standing this whole time, not moving, and your right leg is doing a knee raise and then a nice little plie in the back here. For the arms, if you want to mobilize your shoulder girdle, which is always good, make the arms move diagonally, so in a contralateral movement. I like exaggerating my shoulder movement here, even twisting the upper body, just for some more mobility in the spine, always great. Cool, so that was rehearsal number one on the right leg. Now the left leg follows, so right leg is standing, left leg is moving. Here we go, 45 seconds. Left leg, knee raise, and then stepping backwards, going really down into a lower lunge. I like doing these 45 seconds, even though you might not be able to pull all the way through, or maybe you need some breaks, that's all good, or maybe you just need to slow down a bit. Try, if you have to do breaks, to just stand for like three seconds, five seconds, really count in your head to limit the amount of time you're not working out, but it's absolutely okay to have a break in between. But of course, if you can pull through, try 45 seconds and then the exercise changes. So other muscles will start burning. Cool. And this is where other muscles start burning. Here we go for a leg lift. This leg lift is alternating in a plank position. So keep your hands on the floor, middle fingers are parallel, and then bring your shoulders above your wrists, above your hands. Try to make a really nice long plank, which means that your hips are not sagging. You pull your navel in slightly, yeah. Correcting, always correcting. This might look a little bit stiff, but it's actually very dynamic because you're constantly correcting shoulders away from the ears, shoulder blades towards each other, and again, shoulders away from the ears, and again, shoulder blades towards each other. You will see it's constantly moving pulling the navel in and if the leg lift is too much you can just simply stay in plank position that is without lifting the feet you simply stay on the ground with those two feet and those two hands planks are amazing full body exercises so if you want to work out you don't have time just do a plank it will do the trick great one here we go flying so first of all we're having a one-legged 
deadlift on your right leg. So stand tall, left leg goes all the way to the back in a nice long line like an airplane. And then bend your right knee as much as you can and then come back up. Upper body and legs stay in the airplane position. If possible, almost parallel to the ground. If not, do not bother. But have a long line between your upper body and your leg. So one line between your upper body and your leg. And then bend your right knee and come back up, pushing into the ground. Bend your knee and push into your heel the outer edges of your foot and maybe even your big toe mount. Big thumb of the foot. Cool. Other side. Left leg. So first come into the airplane position. You want to have your head extended. So no crunching um, your neck and lifting your eyes forward. Your eyes are looking towards the floor. So you want to look like 10, not 10, 15, 50 centimeters in front of your toes. That's the number. Then bend the left knee and come back up, pushing the heel and the outer edges of your foot into the ground. This really has to come from a pushing movement into the ground and not just the knee extending it's basically the foot pushing the floor away as if you could make the floor go away uh, <laughs> i wish okay <laughs> keep bending and keep lifting and this is well done for the left side here we go this is just a challenge um i demonstrate on feet but you can do those on the knees and we only do 30 seconds so it's more like a challenge every time we do a week addition we do a little challenge this time it's triceps push-ups so have your elbows really close to your upper body shoulders away from your ears and then try bending those elbows and exhale push back up inhale bend those elbows exhale push back up pulling your navel in making a nice long line between your shoulders and your feet if your knees go on the ground all good pull through yay here we go nice little stretch and you're all done and after the stretch for those who stayed there's a little easter egg for christmas easter christmas egg so bring your two hands together above your sacrum and then lift your hands that are interlaced from the sacrum pull the shoulders away from the sternum shoulders deepen towards your hips your right ankle, extending your left foot and if you want to you can raise these arms to the sky or simply do nothing with your left hand. So grab your right foot, stand tall, pushing your hips slightly forward, bringing your thighs parallel and don't bring that right knee out too much. Try to bring that right knee in. Contract your glutes slightly, pushing that hip forward. Great one! Four other side. So you want to grab your left ankle standing tall. It's also balance pose. For balance, for better balance, focus one point in front of you and don't lose it. <laughs> so you want to grab your foot, bring those thighs parallel, contract your glutes slightly. This is a bit more um, stretching for your hip flexors, front of the hip. And there we go. Last one. Nice forward fold. Great and relaxing exercise. So you can have your feet parallel if you want to slightly turn outwards or parallel or inwards. All is fine. I like to play around with that. Whatever is tighter. Usually when I point my toes out, this is the tighter uh, spot. And then just fold forward. Let your head hang. Let your spine hang and relax your head let your arms and your shoulders loose and there we are have a very nice holiday season christmas if you do it and a very happy new year subscribe if you haven't and see you next week bye <laughs>